still going to be dangerous. Okay, dodge the first Prazik, but now getting slowed down by Akuma. Then flash, that's knock up! That's not enough life for Svenskir, and First Blood comes through for Ambition! Yeah, so low. 300 HP, Ambition. There's the knock up, he pulls Zagro, Akuma to follow up. The stun's gonna get him to trade the kill! Flashless jungler as well, ghost only. Gonna be bold move here now, Bjergsen! Oh, he He's dodges dead. the bombs, crap in the chase! And on the ruler, nicely traded, burns the exhaust, and Double Kiss rooted up now, someone's gonna take the curtain. Kalfafra's walking in a range. He can eat off the flash, the chop comes in, and a nice flash to get out of range. Cortegi overextended! What an outplay by TSM! Ruler forced to flash away! Sadly, overextended a little bit, and it leaves Ruler to die. Why is Ruler staying under the turret? That's gonna be a free kill picked up, perfectly executed by TSM. Was going. He wouldn't have been able to flash backwards, but they messed up the timing. And now you've got a fight in the top lane. Hansa versus Kube, plenty of damage. Rexai's here. Left, but here comes Ambition! The flash knock up, the flash run from Hansa, and there's the equalizer to get the kill back. TSM saves it for the last hit. Yeah, he saves it for the last hit. He kind of got surprised by overheating a little bit, got a little scared there, but in the end... Hang on, Bjergsen. Not again, right? Not under that much threat. Pops the ult. He's going to walk out of turret range to get the revive. Oh, no! He's not going to. Now it... Biofrost shielded him, so a he didn't pop the revive. Kills him, and it's going to be oh. real taking him out. Huge misplay by Bjergsen. But Biofrost came in and shielded him so that ultimate didn't kill him. But now CoreJJ way out of position. Rooted, caught out. He's going to go down. Yeah, we're Another kill. Of to double lift. I feel like that could have been aimed better by Kuve. The TSM was ready for this. They knew they disappeared, and the counter teleport comes out. Three versus three. How good is it going to be? Bjergsen is in. Doesn't get a stun just yet. But plenty of damage onto Ambition. Slicing Maelstrom comes through. They will kill off the Rek'Sai. One for zero. And now double lift versus Crown. Biofrost to help the calling. Knocks him down. Gets away from everything else. Equalizer and revive, but he ran off of it and did revive. Fight in the mid lane with two soul landers from TSM gone. Best current quite low. Pops the ulti late. He's running out of health. The chase down. And a nice shot from Ruler. Now with a Biofrost. One more shot. I'll kill him! And Doublet does not even block the shot, died. So it shows you the value of that two item spike on Victor. Nobody can get out of that Chaos Storm because it applies continuous slow from the Rylos Crystal Scepter. And now oh. Bjergsen way too far forward. Over stepping chase down by Ruler. And Doublet was exhausted. The chase, a couple more autos would kill him, but he does get out of range. He reacts right. here, no ultimate, so he can't really do much even if he teleports. Root's gonna land, but do they have the damage they need? Jumping has no teleport. Hauntzer coming in from the side, but he's gonna get rooted. And that could be Hauntzer dying. Gets the revive, so he'll wait for a second. And Ambition is dead, but here's the re-engage on towards Haunter. The snipe's gonna land, Ruler getting a ton of damage, forcing the flash out so far. This could be real bad for TSM. He's a Tom Kench, wards over the wall. Here comes the engage, the flash knock up on a Biofrost, and TSM running out of health. That's already Guardian Angel down. Biofrost the first casualty of it, but nowhere for Sven to go. That's two for zero, re-engage for Haunter. Damage on the crown, can't quite get the damage. He's gonna survive it, and even Kuve's gonna live. Well played by Core JJ. no kills. But double if once back in, these health bars are negative right now, but... And if they play it right, they can make this happen now. Bjergsen is the one attack, getting away from the Equalizer. The chase on a bio for us is Kube. That's the flash forced out. Now here's the teleport to join in Hanser in the back line, but gets exhausted. How much is the follow-up damage? Perfect shield from Core JJ. That's gonna be Kube burning down. The chase hit it, double gets one, he gets two. He's looking for three, and Crown will keep his kingdom for now, but TSM with the three for zero. Double if. Oh! Turns right back around on him, Samsung. Out there looking for a bit of a play. Sven slowed down, dodges the root. No but ultimate Hauntzer's on in the Sven. wings. Here comes the attempt at a fight. Jumps in. They look for Crown. Plenty of damage, and Hauntzer does not pop the Zodius. He gets deleted. The target selection. Most teams flinch when they see a cannon. Very few think about just one shot. Here comes the Baron steal attempt. Sven gonna get knocked around. Two doesn't help left on Baron. They can finish during the Guardian Angel. Double Prince in. Gets revived, but the health bars are so low. Sven, what's he gonna choose? Is it Baron or is it the fight? Double gets the trade kill on a crown. The Baron steal. No, it's gonna go to Samsung Galaxy, and they've got complete control. That's a dead bio for us. The shutdown comes through to Ruler. It is four versus one with a Baron buff. Hot lane opened up as well, and Bjergsen oh, got a dodge no. away. The flash knock up. It forces his self revive. The Chrono Shift gonna be on cooldown, and he's got no. Where to go. An easy kill to pick up. Five kills in a row now for Samsung Galaxy Hawker. Alone to defend. Looking for damage. Picks off Ruler. And Crown's already dead. It's a three versus one. Hawker loses his life. Does not pop Zonia's there either to buy the time. Nothing you can do to stop it. 2,000 HP left on the Elder Dragon. Hawker still waiting for the flank play. Looking for the damage. And it's going to be picked up by Ruler from Samsung Galaxy. But the fight begins anyway. Ruler down to half. Core JJ a bit low. Not here. Kube has joined the fight. And suddenly, it's going pear-shaped for TSM. Hauntzer forced away. They just have not found the engage. 
Super Galaxy Kuve looking for this one, knocking down the first of the turrets, but no, Hauser gonna trade the kill on that one, 5v4, and ooh, that's Guardian Angel down for Court JJ, but the turrets are dead, the inhibitors as well, Dublift gonna lose his life with impeccably bad timing as the Chrono Shift wore off, and it's now gonna be the Nexus, it's gonna be the game, and Samsung Galaxy gets revenge on TSM and holds on to first place for now. Teams here at Worlds are equal, if not better, in the late game, so I feel like they're putting in a snowball. Dodge the axe. Doesn't dodge the axe. Unless he pops the ult to knock it, knock back. Can he get rid of Looper? Yes, he will. But is there going to be enough chase down? It looks likely. Oh, no. dodges under Toe. Does he have the damage? Avalanche, she going to get out of turret range, and first blood comes through for Royal. Very She's tight. bot lane. Land the rune. Land not quite the cocoon, but Mata can still get slowed. He's now in range of Trashy, and that should be a kill. Will there be another? Uzi could get stunned. One auto, one more will do it. And it's actually forcing the flash out of Uzi. Still he was coming on. They can make it in right Good now. The juke away from Lufer. The stun's gonna land a bit of CC, but they want to kill off him the and the turret. First turret goes through to splice. Now Looper is low, and they're gonna kill him off. It's one for zero. Evelyn's G Foidlinks. burning down. The Foidlings on the chase. Will they oh. knock down all of it? Yes. And then they all the walk down on the target. Now Mana oh. gets hit. Oh, this is a bit risky though. Spells. Nick is gonna run low on HP, but the shots are coming through. He's got one more bullet in the chamber. Uzi's gonna block it. The bounce comes through. Can he get oh, the grid, he's got no HP, but Uzi oh! gets the outplay, and Mickey X gets him back. Ashy gonna get away from this one, but now it's three members strong. Look at the play, Mickey gonna land the ulti, stuns up a couple, and here comes the re-engage. Looper's getting low, getting sniped down by Kavi. One more shot, will do it, the heal keeps him alive. Nice play by Uzi, but on the other side of the map, Mata does go down, nicely picked up there by Trashy. Oh. And it's significant resources now down, and that's the stun chain on the Shaohu. It looks like they'll be able to pick him up, he's gonna flash, but the stun is still there, another silence, and the kill comes through the shot flash from Wonder. A nice knockback nice for Looper, but he is still stunned, and that should be the kill if Shock Blast can come back up. He's burning down. Senkuk slowed by Mata. Cocoon's gonna land. Shock Blast oh. in. Still not dead. The sniper Kabi gets him from downtown past the three-point line. That's gonna be almost impossible. Nope. 2,000 health throws it. Ooh, okay, yes. RNG does roam over and get the ward, though, but that means you could see a fight. They weren't taking Looper damage. by himself to the realm. Looks for Kabi. A lot of damage. They can't quite kill off the Jin, and he will get away with an ulti coming in soon. Now a root on a Mata, but look at Wonder running out of health, tackled into the wall, and that's gonna be the kill picked up by Uzi. One for zero, and MLXG is tanky, but re-engaged upon. Now one for one, the jungler is dead. I'm surprised it was just Looper coming out there. Oh, the stun of Mata, he's dead. Nicely played, he was on a ward. What a setup by Splice. Now, can they control this properly? Looking to finish down up there, and they get that pickup. Now the re-engage stun onto Looper. More CC, but no Braum Q land. So Looper able to walk away, but they get the suppression. He's gonna burn down. A slow to Uzi, Uzi. A root. That's gonna be a dead Caitlyn, a double kill for Kami. And down the mid lane they go. Down to the Nexus turrets, and that's going to be their first win of Worlds. Splice knocked down Royal Never Give Up. Two more to go. Uh, yes, you won't get the yeah. equilibrium strike stun out, but you can just get the Half slow of lane control. And maybe he can join Svenskern, but that's going to be an engage by Trashy, getting plenty of damage down. 200 HP left on the Rek'Sai has to flash, but Trashy could join up soon. He has flash of himself, and the heal's not going to come down in time. First blood, but it's an exhaust into a stun, into a very dead Elise. And I agree, but we sit in a game with a 300 lead. Ooh. Trashy, though, has nowhere to really jump to. Is it going to be the stun? The ulti coming across. There's the jump. And that's one kill picked up. Svenskeren gets the credit. Quite work out for them. He's, He's going to get this. the stun actually in time, just barely. Now time for the knockup into the stun, into the unleashed power not even needed. Cooks around the wall, suddenly surrounded. Stun's going to land. That's the cue for Biofrost. They've got all the CC they need. That really for to happen. Bjergsen play with no flash so far. Uh oh, oh, nice repel. Trashy jukes it away. Fog and TSM really trying to get something. Trash no flash. Slow one, slow two, slow three. Four shots gonna land on a Trashy, but now will he survive the encounter? A big knockup comes out of Biofrost, and that should be enough to knock down the Elite, but Repel's gonna buy a few more seconds, and the re snipe comes through, but it's too early. And here's the re engage on the backside. They picked off Double Lift. It's now a 4v4, and Hemo Plague is on. Senkux is poised to do so much damage here with help from Wonder. They've already picked up another. That's two to one in favor of Splice. Two to two, actually, they did pick off Mickey. That uh, pays off for TSM. It's really beautiful. Taking the expected play and saying, we're not going to do that, we'll do something else. Oh! The one shot from Bjergsen takes him out, and now Trashy also in a bad spot. Svenskern on the chase with the Randuin slow, with the red buff, the follow through from Bjergsen. That's already two kills, and Mickey now running for his life. Our bud, it's not the most beautiful. It on into Wonder, bit of damage. Look at the follow through, a bounce oh! for TSM. It's already two, and the turret nearly falls as well. Mickey is uh -oh. well. Oh, he's yeah. so dead. If you're, if you're new to Splice, 
The Mickey X special. Two maximum wins. There'd already be two teams in three. Yeah, and from TSM's perspective, they need to be strong in this stage of the game. Sam pulls out of there, but now that means he's an available target for that unleashed power. Here comes the engage tools. It's double it with the curtain call. Gets the slows on a wonder. Gets plenty of damage. Mickey gonna get away, but he's not gonna be so lucky for the top laner. That's two dead already. Another trade kill. More in for Bjergsen. Four versus two right now. Rolling over Spice. Oh, and Kavi gets hit by the deadly flirt, and it's gonna be just that explodes. Ulted, goodbye. Double lift on a killing spree now. And look at the Mega Nar catches several in place. They're gonna run out of health. That's several more. Look at that, a three for zero in the blink of an eye. Time is one of the seeders for tiebreakers if we get a three-way tie. Although maybe that's not important anymore. They're going for the game. Yeah, right now they're looking to close things out, but a quick shutdown comes through. It's gonna be a trade kill, but still nice by Wetter to make the play. Even still, Trashy has already found his grave for the seventh time this game. They have one more match to play, and if they can win the next one, they will make top eight at Worlds. And very crucial that TSM was able to win this game. Very important to get Bush Control with that combo as well. Uh, as as oppressive as it can seem. Oh, it never cost. Was too late. Show who's caught. Yeah, come to court, JJ. Show who's running for his life. The malefic visions burning down ambition. A flash forward. The loss zapped. And it's crowned with first blood. Ooh, here we go, though. The dragon and they the. They want to fight. Teleport into the bottom lane. Looper's coming from the lane. Marta misses yet another chair. Call JJ sidesteps. Teleport from Cube. He should be able to cut off Looper. They've already killed MLXG. The dragon secured by Samsung, and Looper's the next target. Looking at the minimap, Samsung won more. They're looking to run him down. Ambition doesn't get the undertow and Uzi. Forced to arcade to the way. Stand behind me, Mata yells, and RNG feel they can go forward. They're going to bite off more than they can chew. They've been routed. They've been killed. Uzi flashes for life. Cubase chasing for more. Xiaohu might be able to get away. Time winders up. Chrono breaks available. Phase dive. Cubase survives. Chrono oh. break backwards. Malefic Visions doesn't kill him. The prospect's going forward after this fight. MLXG flashes forward onto Ruler. Ruler tries to 90 caliber away. There's no flash available. They get a kill. Remember, fire beats grass. Call JJ is strangled down. Off any further engage. Royal are running for their lives. Ambition takes a lot of damage. But look at Chow. Yeah. He's being chunked down. Chaos Storm takes him out. Ace and Neil fired, so that's a cooldown blown. Look oh. at the damage onto Uzi with that last tick. That's it. That's the timer that we're looking for. Keep your eye on the top screen. Samsung Galaxy sieging three lanes at once with Baron, and they're on track to beat that record if go. they can survive the fight. Strangle Thorns gonna knock up three. That's a dead Xiaohu. MLXG's gonna get killed. Here comes Cube from the side. Not gonna get a stun up, but Ambition from behind. He's looking for Uzi. Oh. Ruler is gonna ace in the hole down. Looper gets the kill. Ambition is Ragnarokking and Ragnarolling, oh. but Uzi survives with his life. Oh. Never give up, and Samsung Galaxy win the fastest game of Worlds 2016. 16. Position very well to get around frontline members since your main damage. Uh, and the three wards around the oh bottom no. side of the map. Oh this no. should be a dive. Oh no, Copy's coming back. Why are you coming oh. back? Oh. Ruler flash is in the pulverize comes out. Ruler is taken down. Mickey loses his life in reply. He's gonna go for that's a flash from Scout. Spits him into the Krugs. Krugs off not gonna be dealing down oh. because yet Mickey will go down. Slicing Maelstrom. Oh no. Uh, is gonna be able to turn this one around. Wonder uses the chrono break back as Cubase still alive. Wonder forced to flash away, loses his life in a three on one. The rest of the team's coming up from behind. Mickey once again, so much damage, no unbreakable. He decides to go aggressive and pays the price. He says, Ruler, it looks like he's gonna get jumped on. Here comes Wonder, he phase dives onto Core JJ. Core JJ, no flash available, is gonna get cocooned down. This is a kill for Splice. Well played, Wonder bites off a little more than he can chew. Chrono breaks backwards, and here comes Ambition, looking for more. Ambition's not gonna get tagged by the Celestial Expansion. Back to the Kurt call, as we said, initiation, oh. but fight. Now remember, Slicing Maelstrom was used just a few seconds ago. Mickey's the sacrificial cow in the mid lane. He's already taken down. Ambition's taken a lot of damage. Trashy forced to run away. Won't be able to get the kill. The burn on Ambition won't kill him. And Trashy's rooted. He manages to repel up. Senkax can't connect with the Star Surge and is unable to find a kill. Now Samsung are running away. Wonder's got Chrono Break available. Cobby's run out of mana. A Devour from Core JJ actually gets a stun from the Parallel Convergence. One, two is dodged. Three flies and four kills. Wonder. That's a killing spree for Ruler. Samsung Galaxy, 10 kills to three. 9,000 gold in the lead. Oh, Senkux is in trouble. It's at least a stun onto Cube. Cube's going to be exhausted. Doesn't have a Maelstrom available. Splice flag goes up, but it's on the corpse of the mid laner.
And Splice now running for their lives. They lose another 14 kills in the hole, but he's running out of mana. Voice of Light does really nothing as Ruler starts to heal himself out. GLP sprays the confetti, but it's for Samsung Galaxy. Ambitions coming in from behind. Here Rick Cube slicing Maelstrom's available. Proto Belt forward. That's a three man stun. Cube goes down, but takes two with him. Mickey manages to survive for just a few seconds longer. The slow from Time Winder buys a couple extra. Chrono Break comes out for Wonder and it's oh, not going to oh, be oh. enough. That's the ace. very next game. And Samsung Galaxy top Group D at Worlds 2016. And set up early kills. That's why I'm going to be looking at the Bjergsen comboing with Svenskeren on the wreck side. Them to take Look at the fight. river. Look at the river. Look at the river. The bubble catches Biofrost. Will they Here go comes over? the comment of legend. Biofrost puts up the unbreakable. Oh. Sidesteps the stun. Voice of Light doesn't kill him because Uzi does. First blood secured for Royal. Never give up. Svenskeren follows. Nortley not going to go down yet. That's a double kill for Uzi. Double lifts in trouble. Oh. Triple kill for Uzi. Oh, wary. Haunter's in trouble. He's got a flash of we're going to need to use it shortly. Can't when he's in the steadfast presence. Knocked up into the air. Celestial Expansion doesn't get a kill. Shout Order. can flash over. Voice of Light gets the damage down. Looper uses the buckler. Manages to stay alive. Slowed down by Biofrost. Ignite is out. That's Team Solo mid's first kill. Sven is running for his life. A level 7 double up is being tagged by the stars. And Shao Hu wants to send them packing. A Kalik is interrupted by the cocoon. Knock up on MLXG. Second kill for TSM. Oh. Here we go. Comets of Legends coming up. Haunts is the target. No, no flash, flash available. He should be able to sidestep the tidal wave, but it's such a great zoning tool. A lot of damage onto MLXG, but not enough to... Looking for the play here. Oh, He's in trouble. Who gets the slow. Haunts is knocked back into the expansion. The star oh, is no. backwards, but Uzi snipes him. That's his fourth kill of the game. Svenskare is looking for more. Here comes Bjergsen with the round warp. Not bringing in too much support, though. Double lift might be able to help. Xiaohu's still running for his life. It could be a four on three. The cocoon catches... Oh. Biofrost joins. Glacial Fisher might get needed. The wall comes up. The Unbreakable Shield doesn't help. Double him. He's in trouble. Flashes away with his life. Knocked up by the Keeper's Verdict. Double him still trying to run. Taken down by the... Oh! oh the damage onto MLXG. Looper gets Bjergsen, but the claims is already tagged. Eat the chair, Looper. He's ruined prison in place. Under the tower. Looking to kill Biofrost. But Bjergsen does it. It's a three for three. Haunts is not start to the teleport. Baron will go to Royal Never Give Up. There's no way of a steal. RNG get it, Spence pinned against the wall, he will go down. Solomid concede yet another turret. At what point do TSM say go? Maybe it's now, Biofrost is in trouble. He gets down the Fisher. Mjorks and a Haunter on the side lane. They're interrupted, Jackson. the hammer comes down. They've got to kill it to Mark. Oh! Show who's down, show who's down. Royal, they're running, they're dead, they're taken out. And Team Solomid, they turn onto Looper. Team Solomid, ace, Royal. Over to the Hello target, board. bubble onto Biofrost. Glacial Fisher may get needed. Sven's still running for his life. Sven may go down, eats the chair. Sven will die. Keeper's verdict knocks him up, along with the rest of the dead. Double if he's dead. Bjergsen and Hornsa running for their lives. Biofrost is trying to catch as many as he can. Uses stand behind me, jump in from behind. Nobody takes the right except for Sven Skeren, but he might be left out to dry. Forced to flash instantly. Cocoon onto Hornsa blocks off any more damage. Sven's running for his life. That's Hornsa down. Oh, He's caught on the flank. This might be the last fight. Biofrost is down. RNG looking for more. That's a triple kill. Bjergsen's running out. Uzi's looking for the Quadra. Uzi gets himself. No, that's a shutdown as MLXG picks it up. It's a five on one. Their hopes, their dreams, they're done. Royal advance to Chicago. And Marta said, give me Uzi. I will take you deep into a world. And that is an Uzi game if I have ever seen one. Royal never give up. Make it out of the group and send TSM back.